A very warm welcome to one and all to this Facebook live session on the topic Postgraduate Programs of School of Management Studies. On behalf of all at IGNO Regional Center Kuchin, myself, Dr. Prasita Unnikrishnan, Assistant Director, warmly welcome each one of you to this Facebook live session. This Facebook live session, in fact, is being organized as a part of the promotional initiatives being undertaken by IGNO Regional Center Cochin for the July 2022 admission cycle. As you all may also be knowing that the July 2022 admission cycle last date has been extended till 22nd September 2022. And as a part of the promotional initiatives, we are doing a series of uh, Facebook live sessions. Earlier also we have done a series of live Facebook live sessions and I'm sure you must have all have viewed the same about, uh, viewed the same. So today's Facebook live session would be specifically focusing on the management programs of IGNO uh, under the School of uh, Management Studies, that is the postgraduate programs of IGNO under School of Management Studies. Basically, I would be focusing more on the management MBA program of IGNO. Just to give you a brief historical perspective about IGNO, IGNO is a central university which was established in the year 1985 in an effort to democratize higher education and to take education to the doorstep of the learners. It's a, a matter of pride to inform all that IGNO has also been accredited with NAC A++ and awarded the Center of Excellence and Excellence for Distance Education Materials by the COL. So what are basically the objectives of IGNO? One of the basic objectives of IGNO is to democratize higher education by taking it to the doorstep of the learners to provide access to high quality education to all those who seek it irrespective of age, region, religion and gender. Offering need-based academic programs by giving professional and vocational orientation to the courses and to promote and develop distance education in India. These are some of the prominent features of IGNO, like uh, it has a national jurisdiction with international presence, has flexible admission rules. The programs are offered in compliance to NEP 2020 and guidelines are individualized study, flexibility in terms of place, space and duration of study use of uh, latest information and communication technologies. IGNO has a nationwide student support service network and our programs are also cost effective. Many of the programs of IGNO have a modular approach uh, wherein the programs follow the multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary approach. There is resource sharing like we have the eGyan Kosh, which is an open repository available on the eGyan Kosh link of the IGNO website www.igno.ac.in and we have socially and relevant uh, academically relevant programs based on students need analysis and convergence of open and conventional education systems. So these are some of the important achievements of IGNO like IGNO is the first open university in the country to have been accredited with the highest A++ grade by IGNO by NAC the emergence of IGNO as the largest open university in the world, it is recognized as the center of excellence in distance education by the Commonwealth of Learning. IGNO has also been awarded the Award of Excellence for Distance Education Materials by the Commonwealth of Learning. And IGNO also has a, a launched a series of 24-hour educational channels, which is the Gyan Darshan. And IGNO is the nodal agency for these channels and regular transmissions are done from the studios at Electronic Media Production Center, IGNO. We also have a regular educational broadcast with facility for live interaction. IGNO has been entrusted with the responsibility of national coordinator for the Swayam Prabha project for four channels, that is channel 417 to 20. And these channels are broadcasting the recorded videos as well as live telecasting of IGNO programs on a 24 hour basis. And UNESCO has also declared IGNO as the largest institution of higher learning in the world in 2010. IGNO also has the largest network of learning support system wherein the term and results are declared within 45 days. So how do IGNO support? IGNO uh, supports through the various regional centers which are spread across India. 
uh, in Kerala, we have basically three regional centers, Cochin, Trivandrum, and Vadagara, out of which the Cochin Regional Center is one of the first regional centers which was established in the state of Kerala. So how does distance learning help you? Distance learning basically helps you for self-enrichment and empowerment. And it also helps in enhancing your job prospects and skills. Like uh, you apply to any of the uh, programs of IGNU, whether it is an online mode or distance mode, it will definitely uh, have some impact in your career or also enhance your knowledge in many ways. So why IGNU? Because basically we have flexible admission rules. A student who joins IGNO has the flexibility to study anywhere all over India, uh, wherever the regional centers are located. We have our student support services across the country and our study materials are digitized, cost effective and have a modular approach. IGNO Regional Center Cochin was basically established in the year 1988 and caters to six districts and one union territory. Igno Regional Center Cochin uh, caters basically to in Ernakulam, Trishur, Palakkad, Kottayam, Idiki, Alapura, and the Union Territory of Lakshwati. So this is the jurisdiction under which Igno Regional Center Cochin functions. So we have an uh, array of programs on offer at Igno. There are various certificate programs, PG certificate programs, diploma programs, PG diploma programs, degree programs, and postgraduate programs. So all these programs, uh, if you want to go through the eligibility criteria, the fee structure and the course structure of these programs, uh, those who are watching this uh, session, definitely I, I would like to inform that all of you can please refer our common prospectus July 2022, which is available under http www.igno.ac.in and you can download the common prospectus and go through the programs which are on offer for the July 2022 session. At Igno Renal Center Cochin, the uh, certain programs have uh, prominence like the BA programs, BA Honor programs, the BAC program, the BCOM, BCA, BSW, MCA, MSW, MSc, DFSM, MBA program, MCOM programs, PG DFSQM, DC, MEPC program. So these are some of the prominent programs uh, which are on offer at Igno Regional Center Cochin. For more details about the programs which are on offer under Igno Regional Center Cochin, you please refer our RC Cochin website, httprcochin.igno.ac.in. Our brochure is available on the home page itself. Kindly download the brochure and you can go through the programs which are presently on offer at Igno Regional Center Cochin. So IGNO admissions are presently open now and is being offered in two cycles that is in July and January. Admissions for the July 2022 are open now wherein the last date is 22nd of September 2022 and the link for which the students who are viewing this Facebook live session they can apply through the link https ignoadmission.summer.edu.in. So how you can apply to this IGNO programs, please visit our website at www.igno.ac.in. You can go to register online and click on fresh admissions. So this is a screenshot of our main IGNO website, www.igno.ac.in. You can go to register online and click on fresh admissions. Once you click on fresh admission, uh, you have to uh, create a user ID and login just like you create an email ID and you have to log in and you can also get information about the various available programs, the fee structure and course structure in the program information which is available on the ignoadmission.samarth.edu.in. Every program of IGNO has a minimum duration and a maximum duration. Like for a certificate program, the minimum duration is six months and maximum duration is two years. That is, the student has a flexibility to complete his or her program in a maximum duration of two years if, if he has joined for a certificate program. Similarly, for a diploma program, the minimum uh, validity period is one year and maximum validity period is two years. Bachelor's degree program, minimum three years and maximum you have the uh, choice to complete your program in the maximum validity period of six years. 
for a master's degree program the minimum duration is two years and the maximum duration is four years so as i said before this facebook live session basically would be talking about the master level programs offered by the school of management studies in fact there are five programs on offer by the school of management studies that is the master of business administration master of business administration banking and finance master of commerce master of commerce in finance and taxation master of commerce in business policy and corporate governance so i would be uh, taking you to a brief about all these programs mba is one of the most uh, popular programs of igno in fact recently the mba syllabus has been completely upgraded and earlier we used to have an entrance test for this mba program however presently no entrance test is required for this master of business administration program wherein the eligibility criteria is is that anyone who has passed a bachelor's degree of minimum three years duration with at least 50 percent marks and 45 percent in case of candidates belonging to the reserved category can apply to the mba program of igno the popular feature about this program is that this program is eict approved and offered across pan india in selected countries also outside india mba program has a contemporary curriculum and the latest study materials and has an affordable fee as well the medium of instruction is english and the number of credits the mba program basically consists of 28 courses 28 courses means 28 subjects which you have to complete over the two years which comes to around 116 credits in all and includes 20 core courses uh, and seven courses from any one of the chosen specialization area and one project course equivalent to two courses so we, what are the specializations which are available for an mba program uh, there are various areas of specialization like human resource management financial management operations management and marketing management so these are four specializations which are available for an mba program and the ma uh, and in this program and the student can choose any one specialization area in which he or she wants to have his MBA degree. Next, we have the uh, a Master of Business Administration, Banking and Finance. In fact, this program is also AICT approved and is offered in collaboration with the Institute of Banking and Finance and uh, is offered across Pan India and in selected countries across India. So the eligibility for the admission of the MBA Banking and Finance program is the candidate should have passed a bachelor's degree of minimum three years duration with at least 50% marks. He or she must have passed the CAIB IIB examination of the Indian Institute of Banking and Finance, Mumbai, and awarded the requisite qualification credentials thereby by the institute. He or she should have been working with the banking or financial services sector for a period of at least two years. So basically, this program is for the banking professionals banking personnel or the personnels who are working in the banking sector those working professionals who have minimum two years of working experience and who have qualified for the caiib examination of the indian institute of banking and finance can definitely apply for this program and the mba program uh, again consists of 28 credits or and includes 20 core courses one project and seven specialization Next, one of the most popular programs of IGNO is the Master of Commerce program. In fact, the MCOM program syllabus has been upgraded and the program is open for anyone who is interested in the commerce education, especially after completion of graduation. For those who have done BCOM, they would definitely be interested in having an MCOM. Those who are interested in accounting and finance related fields or who want to make a career in accounting and commerce uh, fields can apply for this program and the basic eligibility criteria is any graduate or equal <coughs> or equivalent from a recognized university is eligible for admission to this program and the medium of instruction in which this program is on offer is english and hindi the next program which is on offer is the memcom finance and taxation and mcom bpcg program uh, MCOM uh, finance and taxation program, the eligibility criteria is any graduate in any discipline or equivalent 
or admitted in a chartered accountancy final course means the student should be admitted in the final uh, course of the chartered accountancy or who has already passed ca program ca course so these are this is a basic criteria for applying to the master of commerce in finance and taxation because many a times we have seen that students do apply for the fnt program but they do not have the basic eligibility criteria like they may not have been admitted in the chartered accountancy final course so uh, definitely this is, this program is a specialized program especially for those aspiring to become chartered accountants then you have the master of uh, commerce in business policy and corporate governance basically this program uh, graduate in any discipline or equivalent from a recognized university or institute can apply for this program a candidate should have passed a uh, company secretaryships ex executive program so those who have passed uh, cs program company secretaryships can only apply for this program Con candidates who have already passed the company secretaryships course shall also be eligible for the admission so this is uh, this was about the four program five programs which are on offer uh, pg programs which are on offer under the school of management studies so i am sure uh, after uh, watching this live session you would have got a basic idea on the popular uh, pg management programs of a uh, school of management studies uh, out of which the mba program and the mcom program of igno is very very popular i am sure the last date is fast approaching <clears throat> and all of you who are interested, please try and apply to any of the programs uh, through the ignoadmission.samarth.edu.in link which is given on the screen. We also have our Facebook page through which this uh, session is being transmitted. Uh, we also have a Twitter account, YouTube account. Uh, request all to kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, you can also contact us in case you have any doubts pertaining to admission to igno please feel free to contact us at rc question at the rate igno.ac.in so once again i am just highlighting the last date for admissions which is on 22nd september 2022 there are an array of courses which are on offer by igno i'm sure our students who are listening or our even a lay person who is listening to this uh, Facebook Live uh, would have got acquainted to the basic programs which are on offer, especially the uh, postgraduate programs which are on offer by the School of Management Studies. And I'm sure after viewing this program, you can <coughs> definitely try and apply to any one of the programs of, on offer by IGNO. So please feel free to contact us at RC Coaching at the rate igno.ac.in in case you require any assistance in applying for the set programs. So thank you once again for listening to me patiently. Thank you.